In other words, then, we have to keep in mind that it is not in the cards, as far as Europeans are concerned, for African people to ever be their equals. As much conversation as you hear about equality and about, you know, multiculturalism and all of the other stuff you hear floating in the air, the essential thing is that Europeans and whites have no intentions of moving African people from the positions of servitude, and they have no intentions of, remo of giving up their power to regulate our opportunities as a people and to regulate those opportunities in their own interest as a people. The other thing that we have to look at, too, is the fact that we as African people, we are a very moral people, you see. We are really moral. People talk about so-called criminality in the African community. But when you really look at, uh, at us as a people, we tend to be very moral, and we tend to think that people should do the right thing just because it's right. And if people are in positions of responsibility, they should just take those responsibilities seriously and, 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 uh, and do and act toward those responsibilities in an equitable manner without regard to race, color, or creed. But this is not a reality at all. When you look at the reality of life, people belonging to different classes, people having different social, political, and economic power operate in their own class interest. No matter how moral it may be, and no matter how moral it may sound, there is no way that the Europeans who have the economic and political power and the advantages that they have today are going to voluntarily give them up to you as African people in the name of some kind of moral principle or in the name of Christianity. And I'm saying this because we think that uh, professionals belonging to a particular ethnic group are going to overlook their ethni ethnicity, that professionals belonging to particular class backgrounds are going to overlook their class background, and that they are going to provide equal opportunity for others. You must recognize, ladies and gentlemen, that class struggles and struggles between groups is a reality. You young people here today, I will assure you that by the time you get 80 or 90 years old, there will still be ethnic struggles. There will still be struggles between ethnic groups. Do not deceive yourself and do not fall for the propaganda that uh, someday, some way, little white boys and little white girls are going to be holding hands and people are going to be measured by the content of their character. You got another thought coming. The struggles between races and groups, the struggles between classes and groups has been here since the very beginning, and they will continue to be here. The only people foolish enough to believe that such an age is going to come are black folk. And this is one of the reasons why today they're on the bottom of the class and economic and political ladders because they actually believe somehow a miracle is going to occur where folk are going to look at them and not see the color of their skin. If you think that day is going to occur, you got another thought coming. 